Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Praise be to Allah, the nourisher and the sustainer of the whole universe and the peace and blessings be upon his final prophet and messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Here we continue what we started last time learning about Islam and the book the correct belief and what opposes it. Here there is a very important question what's Islam and why should I be Muslim? Islam is to be a witness that there is no God has a right to be worshipped except Allah and Muhammad is a prophet of Allah the messenger of Allah who has sent with the clear revelations this is called shahada which is in Arabic la ilaha illallah this uh, shahada is divided into two phrases the first phrase is la ilaha which means that there is no deity no one has the right to be worshipped all the deities that people worship nowadays are false are not true gods and the other part of the phrase is that illallah which means that no one has the right to be worshipped no one deserves to be worshipped no one worshiping, worshipping except Allah Almighty Allah when we say Allah, we mean the creator of the whole universe, the one who sustains, who looks after his creations, the, the real creator. We don't mean that the deities which people worship all over the world. These are false deities because they have created nothing. They do nothing because all, the, all of these deities one day we are nothing but Allah is the first and the last and Allah is the one who created everything and who sent his messengers with great revelations for example like the Holy Quran which is a miracle of our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi uh, so this is Islam and by the way, Islam is the religion of all of the messengers of Allah, including Noah, Ibrahim, Ibrahim, Jacob, Yaqub, Isaac, Ishaq, Moses, Musa, and all of the messengers of Allah came with Islam. Because any one of them came to his people, to his nation, called them to worship Allah alone. And never ascribe partners to Allah he called his people to worship Allah and single Allah out in any with any type of worshiping and not to worship any God beside Allah all of the messengers of Allah were Muslims for example in chapter 3 in the Holy Quran verse number uh, 67 Allah says that ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما إبراهيم was not a Jew nor yet a Christian but he was upright and brought his will to Allah which is Islam also in chapter 2 Surah Al-Bara verse number 123 Allah says أم كنتم شهداء إذ حضر يعقوب الموت إذ قال لبنيه ما تعبدون من بعدي قالوا نعبد إلهك وإله آبائك إبراهيم وإسماعيل وإسحاق إلها واحدا ونحن له مسلمون Or were you witnesses when death approached Jacob when he said to his sons what will you worship after me they said we shall worship your Ilah, Allah, the Ilah of your fathers, Abraham, Ismail, Ishaq, one Allah, and to him we submit. Also, Allah has told us in chapter 16, verse number 36, 
ولقد بعثنا في كل أمة رسولا أن اعبدوا الله واجتنبوا الطاغوت and very we have sent among every ummah community or nation a messenger proclaiming worship Allah alone every messenger of Allah whether Ibrahim Ismail Ishaq Jacob Yaqub and all the messengers of Allah Allah have sent them have sent them with only one mission which is worship Allah alone don't worship any partners beside Allah don't associate any partners to Allah in your worship whether any kind of worship like establishing salah doing dua and any kind of worship don't associate any partner to Allah this is the mission of all the messengers of Allah worship Allah alone and avoid or keep away from ta'ut which is all false deities all false deities beside Allah those who worship stones the, uh, some others worship the moon some others worship the, the, the sun some others worship some creatures of Allah so how come if you are rational if you are um, well minded how you come worship the creation and let the creator Allah is the creator how come you worship the creation and uh, or keep away from taghut all false deities do not worship taghut beside allah so here we can understand that all the messengers of allah have only one mission because every religion whether islam or uh, before uh, the coming of our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam all the messengers of allah came with Islam which means that single Allah out with all of your worships uh, and may some of them have uh, each one of them has his own way or method of uh, worship but all of them have only one uh, single belief or faith which is uh, monotheism or Allah's oneness at Tawheed. This is the meaning or the general meaning of Islam and inshallah next time we will continue in detailing these issues. Thank you very much.